Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, you guys, listen, the people have spoken. I put out a poll and you all said you wanted to continue this note series with like tonic and creamy scents. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right, you guys, so what is Electonic Creamy? Let's go ahead and briefly break it down. You can get a Electonic smell texture from a fragrance with milk, okay? Or milk products, say like um, whipped cream, ice cream. Those are going to give you a very Electonic quality to a fragrance. All right, so you also have a creamy component that you can get from milk desserts. So it may not necessarily have a like tonic quality to it, but it is very rich and creamy. So we're talking about your caramels or maybe a toffee, a dulce de leche. Those are going to add the most creamy, delicious elements to a fragrance. Now you also have a creaminess that you can get from a sandalwood. All right, so the fragrances that I featured here have at least one of those and so many of these here have multiple components from the three categories that we just went over. So let's dive into this. The first one that I want to talk about is going to be the queen, okay? The queen. And you already knew I had to start off with the banger. This is Blanche Bet. This is from the House of Liquid Imagineers. And it is one I've raved about a hundred times on this channel since I've gotten it um, back in June. <sighs> okay. It is so creamy. It is so fluffy, airy, musky. It's vanillic. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. The projection and the longevity on this fragrance is going to blow your socks off. When you put it on, you're not even going to be aware of how much the scent throws on this fragrance. Because when I wore this to work, like people would just enter the, the room and just automatically who has on perfume? Oh my God, what does it smell? This smells amazing. I've had people hunt me down from the sillage, track the scent to me because this thing performs. Beautiful, like tonic, milky scent, okay? You have these fantasy notes in there and they, they, it's like, okay, you read them, it's like, what is this gonna smell like? I, I was like, I don't know, but I wanna take a chance. So I got a decant. Honey, when I say love at first sniff, love at first sniff. Everyone who has bought Blanche Bet from my recommendation, go on ahead and drop a comment in the comment box below. Put your girls on, okay? This is one that everyone needs to get their nose on. It has a cacao note in there. Don't let that deter you, don't let it scare you because you do not even have to be a fan of chocolate or cacao to love this scent. It is musky but not in a powdery, dry type of musky, scratchy. It's not, it's so smooth. It is so smooth, it is rich, it is creamy, and it is a must have. If you love electronic notes or accords, this is a for lifer <laughs> and I absolutely love it. Now, some people um, have asked me, what is the what like what should the color be to this fragrance when i first got my bottle it was pretty much clear but this is very very heavy on the vanilla so it's going to get darker and more ambery like you can even see it you know just from here that the juice does darken over time it's perfectly natural so if you get get a decant and you're like is this like is this a problem is this the real thing it darkens over time. Just like your KLE Vanilla Twin 8, it darkens over time. And like most like natural vanillas, that is just, you know, what vanillas do. So if anyone was wondering, this juice will darken. It's stunning and you need it, all right? Blanche Bit by Liquid Imagineer. Okay, so the next one up on this list is literally, I think the most like tonic. 
<laughs> the most electronic in my collection. So if you want something that is so creamy and so dreamy that is going to blow your mind, you definitely need to get <laughs> Madeline by Masculano in your life. Smell a snack? If you wanna smell like a snack, a rich, creamy, decadent, edible girl, what you got on snack, that is what this is, OMG. It is a very creamy but nutty fragrance. So it has a chestnut. If you are not into nutty fragrances, like your almonds, your hazelnuts, your, don't blind buy it, okay? If you know you do not like that, try it out first, okay? They have decants available. It's not gonna be a problem for you to get um, your nose on this fragrance, but, when I say this thing is delicious, when I first sprayed it, it's gonna take you aback because you're gonna be like, you're gonna be getting paint, like peanuts is what I was getting my first spray. And then, you know, the more it dried down, the more it wore it. Okay, now this starts to smell and feel like chestnuts. So the chestnuts is in the opening, but this is going to remain a nutty fragrance throughout. You have a whipped cream note in here. You have a tuberose, but it's not going to be, it's not gonna scream tuberose, I'm a white floral, just as this will not. It also has a tuberose. Tuberose way back there in the background, okay? This is true gourmand. This is truly sweet. It is truly edible. Like, if someone poured this in a cup, okay, you wouldn't know any better. You may think this is something you're supposed to digest, like ingest, digest. Like this is that good, it is that sweet, it's that delicious, it is that edible, okay? You've got a milk note. You've got some, you know, tonka bean, you've got some musk. It is overall just a stunning fragrance. <laughs> I cannot wait until we get just a really cool day cold day like i'm spraying myself down and i'm gonna go out here in these atlanta streets and i'm gonna be turning heads because this thing is absolutely stunning get your notes on it again madeline by musk milano so the next one is one that is definitely under the radar but definitely one to have honey okay you probably gonna have to jump through some hoops to get it okay i think uh, you can probably only get it from Italy right now. I'm going to reach out to Lucky Scent and see if they're willing to stock this fragrance because I think that this is such a delicious, creamy, caramel, vanilla scent. This is Vanille Charnel and this is by the House of Epico. Oh my God, okay. So it is definitely a vanilla fragrance. So vanilla lovers, perk up, listen up, come close, okay? This is for you. It is vanilla, but it is, it's like this buttery caramel. Oh my God. It is buttery. This is a buttery vanilla and it's like, it's straight for vanilla, but it's not. The way this sweetens up and, and melts and, and just comes alive on your skin, beautiful. It has wonderful longevity. It's not a huge projector like most straight vanillas, but it's just something super addictive about this buttery quality this has to it. It's no buttery note listed, but it's like, it's a very creamy caramel that is like this oily, buttery experience and it is sweet. It's got, you know, these candy fruit note. I don't necessarily know if I can pick that out, but it's a little fruit, it's slightly fruity and it is everything. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. When I tell you I wore this to work, I doused myself in this fragrance and I, people probably thought I had a problem, like I had some drugs or something, cause I kept, going in and just smelling myself like at the desk i didn't care i don't care how odd i look i just needed to inhale the goodness okay if you can get your nose on this fragrance get your nose on this fragrance it is a stunning vanilla and like i said just this very rich caramel creamy decadent component to it. Yeah, I'm in love. Stone cold love and I'm obsessed, okay? So that is Vanille Charnel by Epico. All right, so next up on the list is for 
the sandalwood lovers okay these two fragrances let me tell you one is quite unisex i feel like the other one leans feminine but this first one is going to be piano santal i have talked about piano santal on my channel before this is not going to be a fragrance for everybody this is not a blind buy i'm on my last little drops of decant and i think it's going to be time for a full bottle this is a very it's like milk it's milk it have a skin note in there which i think kind of adds like this very 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 slightly salty vibe it's got this cumin and it's just this this gorgeously creamy sandalwood like i said it's got the milk so it's extremely like tonic it is very unique it is highly addictive and i really want you to get your nose on it if you are a like a stone cold lover of sandalwood you need to try this one again not blind by safe <laughs> do not blind by this scent but i think that it's one you should at least get your nose on now milk notes in general Either you got the body chemistry, unless it's paired with something sweet, either you have the body chemistry that is going to turn sour on your skin or it won't. Milk never turns sour on my skin. I feel like this is one of those because it's not sweet, like it's not, you know, sugary, vanilla, it's none of that. Um, so this may turn sour on some people's skin, but on mine, it does not very unisex this would smell amazing on a guy um and i just like wow this is a stunning stunning sandalwood fragrance again piano santal by l'orchestra parfum okay so the next sandalwood actually is sandalwood but it has whipped cream okay very very rich creamy sandalwood vanilla it is all of those okay and I mean dominant, like it's dominating with all of those creamy sandalwood vanilla. That's what you're getting. This is her by Zadig and Voltaire. Is stunning, okay? Um, This is a safe blind buy if you love sandalwood because this is a sandalwood bomb. But when I say this is probably my most beast mode vanilla, um, it's definitely a powerhouse of a scent. This can fill a room. <laughs> this one is so creamy and comforting. And look, I'm on my last, like we down in here. And I'm, I'm definitely going to purchase this. There is nothing like coming home on a day where you need comfort. You know, you want something cozy, something a little sweet and just enveloping, this is when this comes out. I love it. And again, for the sandalwood vanilla lovers, you definitely wanna get your nose on this beautiful creamy scent. This is her by Zadig and Voltaire. All right, so next up on this list is going to be from the house of commodity and this is Milk. This is the expressive version. Um, very beautiful, woody. This to me, it's called Milk but I feel like this is much more marshmallowy, woody. Definitely have a like tonic quality to this because this does have a milk note, but more marshmallow, more woody, very vanillic, and it's very, very sweet, comforting, delicious, woody scent. So if you like things along the line of This Is Her, you will probably like this scent. Again, the mahogany note, I feel like it's going to be kind of the make or break because some people love those ebony or mahogany or darker wood notes and some people just don't. So Sephora now carries this. Remember, excellent return policy um, if you want to buy through Sephora. Now, if you want to buy from Commodity Direct, you can actually save 10% on your purchase. I will link both uh, links below. So whichever you decide to go with, Mm. do that and get your nose on this fragrance because this one is beautiful. Like I said, very sweet, very vanilla, very woody, just everything you want to smell like for a cozy, you know, cold or cool winter, fall type of, whew, 
type of day, okay? And again, this can be worn day or night. Very versatile, but again, just sweet and witty and absolutely delicious. All right, so next one up is going to be an oldie but goodie, and this is Fresh Cream by Philosophy. A beautiful, like tonic fragrance that will not break the bank. Now, this is an EDT, so you will definitely have to overspray. You will, it will not last you longer than a good two, three hours. So if you're going to wear it, I would say decan it if it's worth that to you and just top yourself off. But this is one that is just like straight up sweet cream is the vibe I get from this. And I don't know why sometimes I pull like, like a little strawberry to my nose. I, I know this just me. Like there is no, no fruits listed. But for some reason, I feel like this smells like a bowl of berries and cream to my nose. I don't know why, okay? That may just be me, but unequivocally, like this is definitely lectonic. It is very creamy, it is sweet. It's delicious, it's absolutely delicious. And I love the entire range. Any lectonic fragrance I'm wearing, I always start with the fresh cream body wash in the shower. Like that is my go-to. I love it, it smells beautiful. And it's just a perfect base for a electronic fragrance. Again, this also pairs beautifully um, and layers beautifully with so many things in my collection. And I use it for that quite a bit. So if you have something with electronic notes and you want to kind of amp it up, amp up that milkiness or that creaminess, this is definitely one that I suggest, you know, layering with it. Now, this one, it's got a little twang to it. I don't know what that is, um, but it's, yeah, it's definitely one you probably wanna pop in and test because I can see this going maybe a little sour on some people's skin, I don't know. You would just have to stop in and try to test it out. Um, but beautiful, beautiful creamy fragrance that is you know on the affordable side and that is Fresh Cream by Philosophy. All right, next up, another Odie but goodie and uh, I think this has been discontinued, but I mean, heavily, readily available on this kind of websites for sure. Nora Parfum, Tom Ford. Have you all smelled Nora Extreme Parfum? I think I might have to get a bottle of that because I was blown away when I stopped in and smelled it. I need to test it on skin, but that thing was so sweet and addictive and sexy. But I digress, talking about Nora Parfum, and this is by Tom Ford. One of my earlier time for purchases, blind buy, if you can believe it, okay? I bought this on the word and the recommendation from AI the Great, and she was spot on. This one is just this sexy, dark, deep, like, mm, you know, like this has some mm to it. This is so sexy, but it's got that delicious, addictive Kofi note, which is like an ice cream, a spicy ice cream and it's just delicious. It is very creamy, it's rich. Like I said, dark, sexy, sensual. Like this is date, night, deliciousness in a bottle, okay? So if, you know, it's a nice cool night, it's fall, it's winter, and you wanna smell sweet, you want to, you know, kind of be alluring and lure him in with that sweetness, but you still want that very sensual darkness, this is the one you pull out. Nora Parfum is beautiful. It's not gonna be one for everyone, um, but definitely a staple in my collection. Like I said, I gotta get, I gotta get that uh, that parfum on my on my skin because I was loving the way that it smelled on paper compared to Nora Extreme. Now, Nora Parfum and Nora Extreme smell very similar. I actually prefer this version over Nora Extreme. All three of these that I'm talking about are unisex, like straight up and down unisex, but something about that gold bottle, honey, that perfume, it was, it was like sweeter, it was richer, it was, yeah, I, I, I might need it. But, but again, that is a Noir Parfume by Tom Ford. Get your hands on it while you can. All right, next up is going to be a newer one to my collection, and this is Minnie Mouse. Listen to me. So, if Burberry Elixir wasn't giving what it needed to give, if you just did not like the scent, get your nose on this one. 
This is giving me what I thought I was going to get from Burberry Elixir. This is so delicious. Very, it is marshmallow, it is caramel, but when I tell you that caramel sweetens up and comes alive on your skin as this starts to dry down, this becomes a very gourmand, sweet, delicious, rich, like strawberry caramel scent. That is what I get and it is absolutely addictive. Like my daughter and I have been spraying this thing non-stop, non-stop, okay? Covered myself in this uh, when I went to work the other day and just, I mean, pretty much was getting my whole caramel strawberry life all day. Very, like I said, marshmallowy, very girly, just all of the things. Like everything that you wanna smell like for like a, a winter or fall date night, he's gonna love this on you. He is going to love this on you, okay? Um, Wait for the sale. <laughs> I waited for the sale because you know me, I do not do full price House of Siosh, no. Um, caught the 30% off, nabbed it immediately. When they put it on 30% off, they sold out same day, okay? Then they released a pre-order for December, sold out, I think two days after that. So uh, there's almost like a waiting list for Minnie Mouse right now. It is all of the things and you need to get it in your life. Trust me, this one, I feel like the performance, I would say six hours. Like it's not gonna last like those 10, 12, it's not like a Passion de L'Amour, okay? It's not, it's going to last about six to eight hours, okay? It's going to give beautiful projection for about the first three. Um, but again, just a delicious, creamy scent. If you love caramel, definitely one you need to check out. Again, this Minnie Mouse by the House of Siage. All right, next up is going to be from the House of Bicanto, and this is Mirabelle. So beautiful, very, very different take on a vanilla, okay? So this is definitely a prominent vanilla, but you've got rum, you have a milk note, you have lavender, you have buchu leaves. So this is many things. It is giving you like this gourmand vibe. It's giving you this cozy, slightly spicy, aromatic, you know, thing, quality going on, but you have this rum and then it's creamy and it's just so many things, okay? It opens very minty from the buchu leaves. It opens very minty. Do not let that throw you off. This is definitely what I need to test. Don't blind buy this. Test it out um, because you may not like the opening just make you, some people have to enjoy their fragrance from opening to the like the last tippy drop top, like to this gone. That's not me. If the opening is okay, I will still like go with the fragrance. Like I don't, I don't mind because the opening is what? It's like three minutes. Much rather have a gorgeous, addictive, beautiful mid and dry down rather than the spect, I hate a spectacular opening and then the mid and dry down is like trash. So you may not like this opening. You may, if you like minty scents, you may like the opening, but I felt like the mintiness dies down almost immediately after, you know, that first couple of minutes. Mm. But again, rum, okay, lavender, vanilla, milk, it is beautiful and this line is not gonna break the bank like your Tiziana Terenzi would, but the nose of the Terenzi, Mr. Paolo, um, just love it. It's it's beautiful and it, it, this is a perfect different vanilla that will, you know, give you some interest. Like if you're tired of those basic boring vanillas, get your nose on Mirabelle because I don't think you'll be disappointed. Beautiful, like tonic, creamy, gourmand fragrance. All right, last but not least, is going to be the delicious, the delectable caramel bomb. What about pop? Okay, listen, the caramel is so rich and buttery and creamy and all of the things. If you like a perfume with a caramel note, you need it. If you like a popcorn note, you need it. Now the popcorn note in this fragrance does die down. 
it does die down. So if you find that it's too fruity for you in the beginning, give it time and it, it, it evolves. It, this is ever changing on the skin. It takes you on a beautiful gourmand journey. What it dries down to for me is going to be this beautiful caramel, vanilla, um, ebony wood scent. It's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. And I just feel like if you're a gourmand lover, you absolutely need to at least get your nose on this one. Decants available. Um, I'll definitely link, you know, down below where you can find it. But this is such a stunning gourmand and it is so rich and decadent and you're going to smell like a snack. Beautiful floral, you know, components to it. So it keeps it from getting too foody and it's not gonna be a foody fragrance throughout but it is a must. It is a must and I love it. Again, that's What About Pop by the House of Oud. All right, you guys, that is our video for today. Make sure that you thumbs up the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And last but not least, drop me a comment below. Let me know your favorite like tonic and creamy scents. I hope you have enjoyed this video today. I have enjoyed my time with you. I love you all and I will catch you on the next one.